so for 28, we want to see whether the series is convergent or divergent. And now this may look a little bit strange because we can see that the numerator, it alternates. And that's uh, because it's actually two different series um, sort of put together. First, we have this series here in yellow where the numerator is one. And then to it, we're going to add the series here in pink where the numerator is two. So instead of expressing it as a single series, we're going to express it as the sum of two different series. So for the one in yellow, the one in yellow is going to be one third plus one over 27 plus one over two, four, three. And that's going to be, um, let's rewrite this in terms of powers of three. So that's one over three to the power of one plus one over 27 is one over three to the power of three. Then plus one over two, four, three is three to the power of five and so on. So we can see here that um, the one in yellow is basically the sum. So we're gonna have the sum of one divided by three to the odd powers. So one over three to the odd powers. Now the odd numbers are of the form two and plus one, because if I plug in zero, which is gonna be my index, I'm gonna have two times zero plus one, which is one, so that checks out. And then if I plug in one, which is my second index, I'm going to have two times one plus one, which is three. So that checks out. And then if I plug in two, which is my second index, sorry, my third index, I'm going to have two times two plus one, which is five. So that checks out, right? So this is just three times two and plus one. So that's going to be the one in yellow. Now let's do the one in pink. So plus the one in pink, I'm going to have two, um, two over nine and then plus two over 81 and then plus two over seven two nine. So let's express this as three to the power of something on the denominator. So which is two over three to the power of two plus two over three. Eighty one is three to the power of four and then plus two over um, 7 to 9 is 3 to the power of 6, and so on. So we can see here that it's just the even ones, right? Um, and so the even ones are of the form 3 to the power of 2n. And our index here is going to begin at 1, because the first one is 3 times 2 to the power of 1, which is 2, and the second one's going to be 3 to the power of 2 times 2, which is 4, and then 2 times 3, which is 6, and so on. So this index here begins at 1, going to infinity of 2 to the power of 3 over 2n. So this is the one in pink. All right, now that we have seen it, um, we do have to kind of clean it up a little bit, right? So that we can do the sum over here. Um, and because the sum of a geometric series from 0 to infinity of a r to the power of n, that's going to be um, a over one minus r. So what we want to do here is take the one in yellow and in pink, and we want to transform it to this kind of form. So that way we can easily plug it into the formula. So for, for the yellow one, this is indexed correctly. It begins at zero, but we do have to clean up this power a little bit. So one over three to the power of two n plus one is going to be equal to, I'm just going to break down this um, numerator into a multiplication. So that's going to be three to the power of one times three to the power of two n. So I decomposed it, which is the same thing as one over three times three, two to the power of n, which is the same thing as one over three times three to the power of two is just nine to the power of n. So we can see that the one in yellow, it's actually going to be this. And if we do this, um, it does look like the form in the way that we want. So I'm just going to rewrite this then as, this is gonna be the sum from zero to infinity of one third times one over nine to the power of n. So that's the one in um, that's the one in yellow. Now we have to do the one in pink. So, so for the pink one, I need to first adjust the index because we can see here that our formula, the index begins at zero, not at one. So to adjust the index, 
Um, so 2 over 3 to the 2n. Now, the way that it is set up here, the first index is 1. So when I plug in 1, it's going to give me 2 over 3 to the power of 2 times 1, which is 2. And so if I, if I index it at 0, I still need it to evaluate 3 to the power of 2 whenever I plug in my first index. But now, the way that it is, if I plug in my first index, which is 0, it's going to give me 3 to the power of 0, which is not what I want. So instead, um, since I've reduced this index by 1, what I have to do is take my n and add plus 1 to it. That way it balances out, right? I reduce the index by 1, but then I increase n by 1. So if I plug in 0, it's now going to give me 3 to the power of 2 times 0 plus 1, which is 1. So 3 to the power of 2, which in fact matches up to this. So once that I have... Um, <clears throat> I have adjusted my index, so this is going to be, let's see, 0 to infinity, and that's 2 over 3 to the power of 2n plus 1. But it doesn't look, it doesn't look like this over here, which is what I want for me to plug it into the formula. So instead, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to just adjust it. So that's going to be, I'm going to begin with 3 to the power of 2 n plus 1, and I'm going to distribute this 2. Oops, that should be a 2 on top. So I'm going to distribute the 2, so that's 3 to the power of 2 n plus 2. And now I'm just going to break this down into a multiplication. So that's going to be 3 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 2 n. So all I did here was I expressed these exponents as a multiplication. And that's going to give me 2 over... 3 to the power of 2 is 9 um, times 3 to the power of 2 to the power of n. And lastly, that's going to be 2, 9 times 3 to the power of 2 is 9, so 9 to the power of n. So we can see here that I have transformed this guy into this guy, and it looks way more like this, right? We're going to be able then to use the formula. Um, so let me just erase these scribbles. Okay. So I'm just going to rewrite then this as 2 to the power of 9. Oh, wait, I'm going to break this down into two parts. 2 to the power of 9 times 1 over 9 to the power of n, which is the same thing as this, right? So once I've done that, I've rewritten my the two series um, in a way that now they are compatible with this formula over here which is the formula for the sum. And the reason that this works is because you can see that both of these um, series, they converge since the ratio is 1 over 9. And the absolute value of 1 over 9 is less than 1. So both of these are convergent series. Um, so let's plug it into the formula and find the sum for both of them, right? So the first one, we can see that A is 1 third. So it's going to go 1 third on the top because we're plugging it into this formula. And then 1 minus R. So 1 minus the ratio is 1 ninth. And for the second one, we're going to have plus the a for this one now is 2 over 9. And then that's going to be 1 minus 1 ninth. Um, so if we do this, the first one is going to be 1 third divided by um, 1 minus 9, which is the same thing as 3 eighths. And the second one, 2 over 9, uh, all over 1 minus 9, that's going to give us um, plus, that's going to be 1 fourth. So if we sum this up, 3 eighths plus 1 fourth, that is going to give us, let's see, it's going to be 5 over 8. So that is it. That is the sum of this geometric series.